Okay, welcome uh, to this last session of this, uh, this slot. Thank you very much for joining us and uh, for myself. So, um, first of all, I think I've, I've got a video to give some expression or some impression of VW and what's going on, and afterwards I want to talk. And hopefully, uh, it, everything works as uh, I tried to make it work, so we will see if I've got pro technical problems afterwards. So, but let me, let me show you first the YouTube video, please. So. And it starts with no sound, you see. <laughs> um, have you had sound? I think I think it's just my fault. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You see? So <laughs> okay. This one. Oh, oh. I'm very sorry about this, but PowerPoint has just said it's shut down, so. <clears throat> Okay, let's skip the video. <laughs> so you find it on YouTube, yes? <laughs> it's a great video, it's an amazing video. It then shows uh, what, uh, what's going on at VW. It's much more than just cars or something like this. So I think, uh, but uh, the slides that I brought with me uh, will give an overview about what we did in the last uh, 12 months and so on and so forth. So I think uh, for those of you who are not familiar with uh, VW, I've got some, uh, some figures with me just to have uh, and, and an insight of it. First of all, my name is Carsten Schade. I'm a, um, a part of the group management team from the Group IT Cloud. I'm part of the Group IT um, as well. So we are located in uh, Wolfsburg, which is in the near of Berlin in Germany. And uh, yeah, we are doing uh, their IT business for the whole group. And this particular thing is uh, the Group IT Cloud is a particular thing. It's a program that we run uh, over the last uh, two years, two and a half years, uh, which consists of uh, all our brands and which is uh, then a platform that we build up for all our brands as users too. So let me just first give an impression about uh, VW itself. You see, we have got 170 locations all over the world and in, in, in nearly every, in every uh, continent. We build 10 billion cars every year. You see, it's a lot of massive infrastructure that we have there when you see that the car may be a device as well. So we have uh, 2,000 billion uh, 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 euros uh, revenue last year. It's all the figures from 2016. And last but not least, we are 600 and nearly 20,000 employees working for VW in all the locations. So well, the main part for sure is the Germany, but uh, we're spread all over the world, like I told you before. So, but that's not all. We also have uh, 12 brands, manufacturing brands. There are from smart vehicles, from, uh, uh, from uh, light cars, from um, up to the heavy trucks you see there with MA and Scania and so on. Uh, as well as some things like, uh, we built also something like uh, big engines for ships. I think the most of you don't know this. So. That's something we have also in our portfolio. So it's a huge variety of things uh, that do mobilization of people, of things, of goods, and so on and so forth. Also, there is a, a, a 13th layer beneath it, so Volkswagen Financial Services, which is spread all over the world. Some guys are here as well. So uh, they are part of our uh, team as well. And so all together, these uh, 13 uh, items are the Volkswagen Group, uh, which uh, we represent in the uh, Group IT Cloud program. So, um, so each one has its own flavor. So, but what's our aspiration? So, we come from uh, from a historical point of view. Uh, uh, with with uh, fancy cars, some of you may have uh, 
uh, remember, uh, may remember uh, of uh, maybe some uh, journeys they had with, uh, with their parents and a, and a beetle or something like this. So that's uh, all the things that we are used to in, in, the, in the past. But our business is uh, changing dramatically. You see that the connection between cars, vehicles, uh, and IT is getting stronger than ever. So from one hand, so the internet is coming into the car. On the other hand, the, the car is coming into the internet as a device or as, a, as a, some endpoint where we can collect data. So I think that's a massive, uh, a massive uh, thing that we have there uh, for. Next one that was uh, is to promise uh, to, to talk about is the disruption of our industry. Yeah, the cycles of disruption are even getting shorter uh, day by day, and 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 the depth of it or the the, the impact that we have there is uh, is much stronger every 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 cycle. So uh, there's a huge impact as well. So the third one is that we change uh, the whole kind of business coming from sustainability, so uh, coming from, uh, from engines uh, now to the electric drive, which, which is uh, uh, very, very uh, focused, which we are very, very focused on. Uh, you have a different trend with, with this urbanization where uh, people don't need to own a car maybe in the future anymore. So the younger ones, they t talk about mobility as an, as an asset, not a car as an asset. So, so there's a, some a shift going uh, through uh, all our customers. Last but not least, we have digitalization itself, so from human-driven so to self-driving automobiles, which uh, will come definitely. The question is when and when, uh, what, what huddles had to be done, but it's, it's come in some time, and this all things that we have to prepare to be, uh, to be prepared for, which give us a uh, some uh, challenges for sure, but also many, many chances. And that's the, that's the reason why we are here. So that's uh, the, the side from, uh, from a customer and to how our business changes. On the other side, when you look inside a company, how is the product developed in these days? So you say 94, we started with drawing boards, then yeah, computer added design came up, 3D modeling, um, we had virtual reality in these days, and now the next thing will be a minimum partly autonomous development and production, which causes also a big impact of how we produce cars or how we produce products as well. So you see that everything changes around us from customer side up and up down to the production side. There's nearly every, everything touched. And that leads to our aspiration to use all these uh, possibilities and these challenges and chances and to, uh, to uh, shape the future. So we are going to be, um, you know, our, our, our main target is to play a leading role in shaping the future of automobile industry. And I'm perfectly, I, I think I'm, I'm yeah, how it's called. So I, I, I'm strong belief that we will do that in the future. So because we have good people, we have good technology, and I think now the next step, we have a uh, yeah, good uh, community as well. So that's why we're here. So all in all, that's a wrap up of uh, the situation and that we live right now. So and the next one was uh, more or less a little bit more technical detail. So we start with Group IT Cloud, uh, which is a, a cloud uh, combination uh, like all of you, all of you know the benefit. Yes, of flexible flexibility, dynamically our uh, resources, pay per use, um, long uh, 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 lower investment costs, and so on and so forth. So, so that was one of the reasons. What all the reasons that are very common to set up this cloud thing. So, we started then, and this uh, this is uh, uh, meaning to be uh, some timetable from where we started in 2016 with uh, the first uh, GITC, the Group IT Cloud number one, with an uh, IIS infrastructure as a service layer, a, a, a private cloud environment in Wolfsburg with a public uh, 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 platform as a service on top of it, with Cloud Foundry uh, realized in uh, the mid of 2016, last year. Uh, when uh, Roy Sauer, which is my boss, and me uh, were here, and in, in, uh, this was in Frankfurt, I think, at the, uh, at the CF Summit, and told that we just announced it and uh, pu published uh, this, this cloud uh, for VW. So, 
since then we are started in uh, the next phase, the fourth one, which is nearly done. That means that we have built up a global and hybrid cloud networking for all of our locations. You can see it there, so there are some things coming up. So we, we are connected to Open Telecom Cloud, to Amazon Web Services, to Microsoft Azure, um, maybe more to come. One, uh, we opened the data center in Mlada Boleslav for private on-prem cloud services. And uh, Braunschweig, which is in the near of Wolfsburg, will come up too. Uh, Wolfsburg will reopen it, a second one, and uh, then Puebla in Mexico will also be on the, on the road this year. So there's a lot more to come next year, though, that we have uh, private cloud infrastructure all over the world. Uh, combined with all these hybrid things, I think there is a, a good force to, uh, to our application development. So, so what we do with this is uh, the following. So in the middle you can see so um, the group IT cloud platform, which consists of several services as well as Cloud Foundry. And uh, this platform is uh, then in, in different shapes for different business needs to be developed. For example, if you have an IoT platform, you def definitely have uh, different needs than uh, you have a real uh, consumer or a marketing platform or whatever. So we're trying to set uh, to find the right settings for all these uh, stakeholders to have a platform where we can develop apps then for the special business needs. So <clears throat> that's the discussions going on right now. And you see down on the bottom there, there's, um, there is uh, OpenStack and the, the cloud environments as infrastructure layer, as well as the connection to our uh, large enterprise uh, OEM uh, things that we have there, because we have a real huge legacy world, you can imagine, where we have to connect to. That's something we are working on closely right now. So. That's uh, what we're doing and uh, where we focus ourselves on uh, so that uh, this is uh, the model for the future that we will go on to. So you see at the glance, so, so we have one common project with all of it. It's, uh, as I told before, it's a group-wide project with all brands involved in, and all brands are possible uh, users of it. So we have five locations until end of 2017. We have public cloud providers free right now. Uh, 30 plus applications were built right now with this uh, 10 plus applications for until the end of uh, Q3 until 2017. And this is one business architecture or basic architecture for our one digital platform as we see before. And you see all the brands that are involved there too. So that's mainly it. So, uh, so from, from the GITC perspective, but uh, what we did also in the last couple of months is um, uh, that we have uh, all these kind of labs here. So that's an overview. We have data lab in uh, Munich, digital labs in Berlin, code lab San Francisco, where we do self software development, an ideation hub for, uh, for design thinking, smart production lab, which is located in Wolfsburg, where we do an, uh, uh, smart production things, and last but not least, virtual engineering lab, which is, re is open soon. So there are some things uh, that's our, um, that has uh, uh, some kind of role model for us. So these are uh, labs outside the factory, outside the, the main company. And uh, so we try to adapt things then uh, from there to, uh, to bring it to the mess for, for the cloud purposes, for, for example. So uh, let's, I think that's a slide that we had the last time with us. Is, uh, this is a slide of how the digital lab in Berlin is set up. Uh, so with a strategic partner with Pivotal, they set up there um, uh, a methodology to create software. And this is uh, exactly what we tried to, um, yeah, to, to, to adopt to, uh, to the main factory in, in, in many, many ways. So that's something we worked uh, very hard on the last, last couple of months, I think it was. So, so what happened since last year's summer? So we made three suggestions for the future last year, and so I've got these original slides from last year, so uh, we'll give you an overview of what happened really then. So the first one was that we said on the last summit, uh, we will change the way we will build software. You see on the left hand the waterfall model, on the right hand more the agile way. Uh, that's exactly what, what we did. And uh, to have a sign on it and to make it uh, more, more tangible, so there's something that we uh, opened in this year in 2017 and in February 
It's called IT City, which is a building which is uh, designed to work agile. You see there are some pictures from the inside, so where we have uh, uh, possibilities for person, for, for small teams, for nine-person teams, or uh, maybe some more, but uh, usually it's for nine-person, where with all this agile equipment you have, with coffee bar and networking, restaurant, and so on and so forth, which is very um, unusual for Volkswagen or very very new for Volkswagen. Well, there are 1,500 people working, all IT, uh, except from uh, some uh, something, some processes uh, that surround us in IT, like uh, HR and finance. They are a little bit uh, so they, we are close together there. So we have short ways. Um, as well, there are some, for sure, product owners from business departments when we develop software there. So it's, uh, uh, for sure, you need these people also. also. But mainly it's um, in an IT park, um, nothing else with there, just we. So uh, that's a very cool atmosphere to work there. And uh, yeah, so I think that's also a sign so how Volkswagen is going on and adapt the things from a Silicon Valley kind of uh, mindset. Then we had last year, uh, we want to the group by C Cloud to be adapted by our developers. So there are some figures that's maybe um, that helps to, to see this. So I saw the picture before. So uh, we have right now five uh, Pivotal Cloud, no, it's not right, not right, four Pivotal Cloud Foundry Foundations and one Cloud Foundry Foundation of uh, open source. But nevertheless, four, five Cloud Foundry Foundations running in two locations. 650 users are using this. We have 200 apps instances productive, yeah, and additionally we run projects on the unstructured paths as well. So, but you see uh, we came from uh, nearly nothing, so there were just a few projects, but it's rising day by day. And uh, I think there's Cloud Foundry, so it's something that we uh, want to provide uh, uh, and, and make it comfortable for everyone and, and uh, reachable for everyone. And that's the reason why we have the, the second thing is uh, that we uh, will provide the online training which is available for every, um, um, uh, every employee of VW, not just the IT ones, but everyone. Uh, it's achievable, um, I think, in some days, so it's uh, not far away. We are in the last, uh, last steps of, uh, of uh, financial things, but uh, nevertheless, then it's possible for everyone to book this online trainings we saw before, and uh, next thing is then to have the certified, uh, the certification as well. So I think that, that shows that we invest a lot of, uh, in, in, um, in the education of our staff, um, in the education of new people, and uh, yeah. So together with the new building, I think it's a, a different picture than uh, you have if you ever made a factory visit to, yeah. So the third one was uh, CF Summit last year. We will to open our doors, go conferences and communities. So we are here, yeah. So we engage ourselves. So we are part of the OpenStack community, upgraded to uh, Cloud Foundry Gold membership, and we are well. We will do more for sure. So we want to do a. Uh, we, we are trying to uh, bring things to commit so that we are committers as well. So we have clever people with clever ideas, no, no doubt about that. So uh, the, the question now is uh, there are some uh, administrative things to overcome. I think uh, some German companies may know have uh, faced the same problems with uh, legal entities and so on. But I think we will overcome this and uh, then uh, we are next year I think we will uh, have some commits and I, I, I'm not really sure that we can promise uh, that we can uh, send some figures out. So that's the thing that I'll, because we believe that um, the, the community itself, uh, the, the, the idea of sharing things and is a give and take for sure and the creativity and, 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 uh, and uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a question of diversity, like Abby told in the, in the opening keynote. I think it's exactly what we understood and what we are always what we all think. So that's the way we move forward. So that's uh, what happened in the last uh, 12 months. So there were 
also many, many, many talks with business stakeholders and so on. So I think the whole company is shifting their mindset into a new mindset. It's a, it's a long way for sure. So 600,000 people in different countries with different mindsets, it's not so easy. But uh, nevertheless, at the end of the day, I think so. Uh, we won't stop this progress or uh, this process for sure. So <coughs> curious, curious about what's next. So yes, yeah, you see we are here with this, uh, with this booth. I think the most of you uh, noticed us already. So this was the first time we had this. So to say, OK, VW, here we are. So uh, you are, you're searching for opportunities, have friends or something like this. So maybe that's a good, challenge, a good chance to present ourselves and to say, OK, we are not a software company in, in the sense of creating software as our main business, but nearly. <laughs> so. Okay, so if you have any questions, I think we invented, so I'm open to it. Otherwise, I say thank you very much. Yeah, there's one. Yeah, hi. What's been the biggest challenge in your organization to you know, get them to adopt this new way of working? Uh, the, the, the biggest challenge, I think, is to bring this mindset also to people. So to uh, to uh, to make uh, not to say, okay, do it in this way and that way, but to make them think about what uh, that, all about the chance that they had have in this. I think it's the same for every huge company. So it's nothing new. So. Um, so you, you, you start with small teams and you have, uh, have progress and you have success and you, you have to share the success, you have to make it, um, yeah, to publish it and all this kind of stuff and that not, that's not so easy. I think that's a big challenge. So, but uh, with, with the new building and all this kind of uh, the things, I think we are one step further there. So there is a, this, this is more or less a, also a, a visible sign for our people so that there is something really new going on. And you can see there uh, from day one on in this building, for example, so it was like, like any other building too. The people sat there together and, and, and they worked uh, uh, as they usually did. And, but, but nowadays you come to us, you always see this, these, these yellow little, uh, little pieces of paper. Yeah, this is post-its, yeah. So uh, people adapting these, these things because they understand that this is a good idea to do things different. And I, so I think we overcome it, but uh, for sure it's a, it's a long way. Uh, especially for those who are not directly connected to IT, so, yeah. Okay? Yeah? Uh, are these apps all developed um, by yourself or yourself, or are these also uh, service companies that help you uh, deliver whatever value you so most of the things are developed by our own staff. So, it's, but uh, for sure we have help from uh, from partner companies right now. So, but on the other hand, we have a big shift to uh, to insource things. So that's why we hire people, our uh, de designers, in, in, in a big scale, uh, our developers in a big scale. So, why we exactly want to do what you said? We want to do it by ourselves in the future. So, but it, yeah, Volkswagen is always involved. So. <laughs> Okay. So yeah. Is the platform exposed to developers across the whole VW group? Yes. Or you just selected a handful of groups and they are kind of sort of you know early adopters inside hmm. the VW group? No, it's supposed to be used by the whole group, yeah. Hmm. But not uh at this state, not uh, for, for external partners in, in the sense that you create something. So it's always under control of VW, but for every brand, mm -hmm. the whole group. Yeah. Okay, then thank you very much for your attention and uh, have a good day. <laughs>